Have you noticed a bubble growing on your fingertip? As it gets bigger, are you constantly knocking it on everything you do? Has it reached the size that's making you feel uncomfortable to interact with others socially with your hand? Is it so irritating that it reminds you all the time that it's still there? Especially when you try searching everywhere to find out what it is. This is called a mucus cyst, an enlarging sac filled with joint fluid from the underlying joint at the fingertip. It can progressively get bigger and sometimes even deform the fingernail. It is formed from wear and tear of the joint. A small hole was created on the joint capsule by underlying bone spurs. Over time this create a one-way valve for joint fluid to continue to drain out. Lastly, a draining channel was formed and the cyst continued to enlarge. Here, we are examining a mucus cyst on the index finger. The cyst can be quite easily compressed as it's filled with fluid. It can often be irritable under pressure. The joint itself often retain good movement, but sometimes irritable from the pressure of the cyst. A close-up show the almost transparent look of the fluid sac. The cyst lied directly under the skin, which changes color when pressure is applied. X-ray of the finger shows the cyst on the skin, directly above the offending joint. There is often a small bone spur right at the top of the joint. The mucus cyst can cause functional problems. Its location at the fingertip means it's bumped and hit by every single thing when we use our hands on daily activities. As a result, the cyst gets bigger from the daily irritation. The pressure of this large cyst put pressure on the cells that generate fingernail, leading to nail deformity. Sometimes irritations may rupture the cyst and joint fluid discharge through the skin. This can be a serious problem, as germs from our hand can travel through the cystic channel into the joint underneath causing joint infection. To prevent this serious problem, early treatment with medical professional is recommended. The cyst fluid can be sucked away with a fine needle under strict sterile condition to prevent infection. Because the underlying feeding channel of the cyst is still there, the cyst is likely to come back with this treatment. The definitive treatment is through surgery. The surgeon remove the cyst, as well as taking away the bone spur and feeding channel that forms the cyst in the first place. This has a high chance of success with low recurrence rate. The surgical wound takes two weeks to heal with return to function at four to six weeks. I hope you find this video helpful. Please leave comments below and check out some other interesting conditions in my channel.